I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The sophomores' long sleeve t-shirts are now in. Come see Mrs. Trent or Mrs. Thompson for them at lunch. Seniors, this is your last chance to go order some senior clothing. The order forms are in the main office on the front desk. They need to be turned in to Miss S in the main office with the exact change. The last day to order some senior clothing is on February 9th. Order some clothing, guys. It's your last chance. I guess growing up it would have to be my mom and my mama because they pretty much made me the way I am and taught me everything I know. Um, but Miss Phyllis Halfling was my English teacher all through high school and she was amazing and made me love to read and literature so she would be my role model as far as for teaching goes. I do love teaching and sometimes there's that one student that has no one to talk to and they come to my room and that's why I get up for that one student. Oh, the kids that they wore uniforms, they looked so sharp because they had shirts and ties and blazers and um, it was just a different world there and we only had half day Fridays, so that was amazing. Good Monday morning, Okeechobee High School. Long weekend, well, it wasn't a long weekend because it's actually, you had longer weekends. This is gonna be a long week. So here's some things that are gonna start your week off right. Just a little recap of some things that happened over the weekend and I got some goodies to throw out at you. Um, Friday night, you know, the boys won. They took care of Ugali in a district game. So congratulations to the boys. Um, the automotive program sent two teams to UTI. It was for the Top Tech Challenge. At stake, a nice piston trophy. Got a piston in the middle, got like gearbox around the outside. I'm probably butchering that, all you automotive kids, but it's a cool trophy, so check it out. Because Eric Cardenas and Salvador Medina brought it home. They won the competition. There were 13 teams participating. Those two finished first and they both received $10,000 scholarships to UTI. So congratulations for you guys. Brought the Piston Trophy back. The second team that went up there, Thomas Garcia and Jose Cervantes, Cervantes, they finished eight out of 13, and they also received scholarships of $1,000 each. And those two are juniors, so they're gonna get to go back next year and bring that title back um, for Eric and Salvador. So congratulations, you guys. Congratulations to Mr. Anderson and all the work you guys put into to those programs and actually traveling on a weekend to take part of that competition. You represent OHS well. The FFA District Contest was Friday. There was a lot of people out from FFA. From OFC, there was Jillian Johnston, Arthur Jonas Saint from OHS, Kevin Dryden, Dayton Buxton, Aubrey Pierce, Caitlin Williams, and Chandler Pierce. Um, the results, let's see here. Prepared public speaking, Caitlin Williams finished second. Creed speaking, Jillian Johnson from OFC finished second. Parliamentary procedure, the team consisting of Caitlin Williams, Jillian Johnson, Arthur Jonas Saint, Aubrey Pierce, Dayton Buxton, and Kevin Dryden finished second. Safe tractor driving operations, Chandler Pierce finished first. Oops, I just shut it off. And qualified for state. Hold on, I'm coming, I promise. I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> so Chandler qualified for state competition. I believe that happens in the summer. Extraneous, oh, extra, extemporaneous, Arthur would kill me. Extemporaneous <laughs> public speaking. Arthur Jonas Saint finished first and also qualifies for the state contest. And as always, the FFA, you know, they're, they're proud to move the school and the community forward. Congratulations, all you guys that participated. I know your leader, 
Artha and your sponsors are very proud of you um, and thank you guys for sending me that information so I can get it out. Um, also want to give one more final shout out. Um, we have the Teacher of the Year Banquet Friday night. Um, I got to be able to share somehow the snippets of that video because we had Batman and Superman went all the way around this district and then Wonder Woman Arthur, Arthur Jonas Saint was Wonder Woman and she dressed up like Wonder Woman and spoke to the 400 plus people at the crowd. Um, so it was a great thing representing Okeechobee High School. And then Superman was Jawan Cherry and Batman was Nick Amiot and they were great in their video that just kind of wove in and out of the district looking for the Teacher of the Year. So congratulations um, to our three representatives. Miss Rollerson was our Teacher of the Year. Katie Ammons was our School Related Employee of the Year. And Victoria Skeen was our new T our Project One New Teacher of the Year. And you guys all represented us well and we're proud and honored to have you representing Okeechobee High School. Whew. I'm good. What do you got? Okay, I'm gonna talk money. You have money. First of all, seniors, have you ordered your cap and gown? I'm going to remind you every week because I love you and you'll look great in purple in May. But you have to go online and order justins.com, $55. Ms. Coleman and Ms. Martoni are going to start to see you regularly if you have it. It is not something you put off until the last minute because then it costs lots of money to get your, your gown here. Also, speaking of money, I have some statistics here. So far this year, Okeechobee High School students have earned $168,957 in Pell Grants. Nice. That's some serious bank, okay? Now, that though, despite the fact that you are lagging behind last year's seniors in FAFSA completion, not good because the class of 17 is not ma making you look kind of bad there like you, you know, you're slacking. So uh, at this point, last year basically you're about 10 percent behind them thus far so what you need to do thursday night is the next fafsa frenzy a lot of you now have some acceptances or have a good idea of where your top colleges are that you've applied come see us and let's see if we can get you some of that you know some more of that hundred sixty eight thousand dollars money, money. yes yeah. so it's just money it's easy it won't take 30 minutes uh, have your parents bring their w-2s not from this this past year not from 17 but from 16 they should have those taxes done and have them bring those so security numbers get you in here take 30 minutes and it'll be done so i hope to see a lot of seniors money, money. in there thursday night all right girls basketballs tonight i um, going up against heritage we also have girls soccer districts beginning this week um, and tomorrow we have our host of blood drive make sure that you are following the times on the appointment cards teachers you will be emailed a list of students um, who will be participating in the host of blood drive if you have not made an appointment then you do not go out to the blood drive we've done this before let's make sure that we're following those rules that's all I got for you except to move forward, be great every day. There's going to be visitors on campus this week, but there's visitors on campus every week it seems like. So greet them and just show them that you're going to go about your business and handle your business and move forward because that is the Brahmin way. So have a great week. <laughs>